In this StatCrunch video, I'm going to show you how to perform tests for one sample. So we'll take a look at a test for a mean and a test for a proportion. Let's start with a test for a mean. I've loaded a data set from Chapter 2. So I've loaded Exercise 37 from Chapter 2 that gives us triglyceride levels in the blood. What I'd like to do is run a hypothesis test to determine if the average level of triglycerides is above 200. So I'm going to go to STAT, Z Statistics, one sample with data because I have a list of data here. I'll show you one with summary in a minute. If I click on this, it asks me what column that I want to test. I want to test the triglyceride levels column. Click Next and hypothesis test is already selected and this is what we're going to be doing. Now what's very important to remember is that you need to change this mean equals value. We want to test that the mean value is bigger than 200 so this I need to change to 200. If I leave it at 0 my test will be wrong and I will not get the appropriate test statistic or p-value and you'll run into a lot of trouble because it'll be very very off. So make sure that you change this. So we've changed it to 200 and I want to test and see if it's greater than 200, so I'll select my drop down by alternative and click greater than. Go ahead and click calculate once you've done this. And here we get a z stat of 2.24 when we round and a p value of 0 0.01. So if I was comparing this to a significance level of 0.05, I would reject the null hypothesis and then conclude that the average value of triglyceride levels is over 200. Now let's try one with some summary data. So I'm going to go ahead and summarize this particular data set here. So I'll go to stat, summary stats, columns, and summarize this data. And what I'm going to need is the number of data points, the mean, and the standard deviation. So I'm going to just select those to make this a little simpler. And I'm going to store it in a data table and click calculate. And I get all of my information here so that if I have this information, say in a homework problem, it was summarized, not given an entire data set, I could just use this information here to run the test by going to STAT, Z Statistics, one sample with summary, and inputting the mean that I'm given, 240.73, the standard deviation, 92.79, and the sample size is 26. Click Next. Again, be sure to input the correct value that you're testing for the mean, and I'll select greater than again, and click Calculate, and here I get my test statistic and p-value. Now I'm going to show you how to test for a proportion. I'm beginning with a blank spreadsheet because we can do this with a summary or with data. Let's start this one with a summary. In order to run a hypothesis test for a single proportion, we'll go to Stat, proportions, one sample, with summary. And again, we're going to type in the number of successes and the total sample size. So again, let's say that we are testing uh, to see if the proportion of males and females in a particular uh, sample are equivalent. And let's say that in our sample, we have 54 females and 100 people total. So we want to see if this information provides us with the fact that we have an equivalent number of male and female in our population. So once we have this information in Click Next, we're going to test that the null, that the proportion here is equal to 50%, so 0.5, we can leave this without changing it, but be sure to update this whenever you're running your test, the proportion that you want to test. And I'm going to leave the alternative at not equal to. I just want to know if it's 50% or not. When I have this information in, I'll click Calculate and here my Z stat is 0.8, my p-value is 0.42, so quite a high p-value, so in this case I would fail to reject, and I would conclude that there is indeed 50% of the population made up of females. Let's run something similar using some data. So again, I'm going to input some data. I'll input about 12 data points. So here I have female, male, 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 female, female, male, female, 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 male, male, and I want to see if this is roughly 50%. And 
That's my data set, so I'll go to Stat Proportions, One Sample, with Data. My outcomes are in VAR 1. Success I'll define as female again. Click Next. We want to test the proportion as 0.5 versus a not equal to alternative. And click Calculate. And here, because this is a very small data set and I happen to put in exactly 50%, I get a p-value of 1. So I would fail to reject and conclude that there is a 50% um, female population.